What's up guys, this is Richard. Uh, welcome to my channel. My channel name is XRX. So some of you may wonder why is it called XRX. So uh, it's kind of sound like a porn site, right? Like, you know, XXX.com, stuff like that. But it's actually related to one of my uh, uh, number plate, which has been used in Hong Kong on my Chan Sudali. And that is why it's called XRX. So basically the R stands for Richard. Some of you guys might have seen me in Sam's video about my garage walkthrough. This is a complete version. This one's gonna include two more cars, which is the Alfred Ford GTR and also the RX7 Spirit R. So let's go to the cars. Starting off with the Unicorn, the SLS AMG Black Series. This car is originally uh, imported from UK. It has the legendary M159 N8 V8 engine which sounds phenomenal. With the Capristo exhaust here, it sounds even better. It also has a going door which is directly from the 300 SL. Look at how gorgeous it is. With the Alcantara letter and Nepa letter. In contrast, it's just awesome. And the fact that this car has a way wider body just blows my mind, man. Now let's move on to the next car, the Challenge Sridali. This is the best sounding feed Ferrari has ever produced. I swear to God, this is the best sounding car I have ever listened to. The fact that Ferrari only produced 1,288 units of this, which is even less than the F40, is simply insane. It just blows my mind. It's definitely a keeper. It has to be in my garage. This is one of my favorite cars to be driven as well. It's so raw, it's so direct, it's so go-kart-like. There's nothing to be unlike. So moving on to the next car, to the successor. The 430 Scuderia 16M. Now, this is the first ever track focused spider Ferrari has ever built. And the fact that this car has a transparent engine bonnet is just awesome because the Aperta no longer has it and Pista don't have it as well. So, this one is the only one that has the transparent engine bonnet. And Ferrari has only built 499 of these worldwide to celebrate the 16th victory from the F1 championship. The fact that this car has the Italia tricolor stripe running all across the body is just gorgeous. That's it for the 16M. Now let's move on to the Speciali Aperta. This is probably my favorite car to be driven. It just handles so well, so quick, it sounds amazing with the NAV8 as well. And look at the Giallo Triplo Strato paint and with the Nart stripe. It's just simply gorgeous. The fact that this car has the blue gloss interior carbon is just simply amazing. I can never get enough of it. And the diamond cut wheels with the blue caliber, I don't think you get a better combo than this. That is it for the Italian. Now moving on to the JDM. Starting off with the JDM collection, with the holy grail of the JDM history, the NSXR NA2. Honda only built 152 of these worldwide, and the fact that this car has the NA3.2 liter V6 just blows your freaking mind, man. It offers the best bit of the VTEC, unlike the modern day Honda Type R's. Now let's wrap it up for the NSXR, moving on to another of my favorite Honda, the Mugen RR. The 
Logan R is basically track focused version of the FD2 Type R. Honda only built 300 of this worldwide. It has a legendary K20A engine which revs up to 9000 freaking RPM. The FD2 Type R originally revs up to 8000, that is like insane enough, but this one revs up to 9000 RPM. It is crazy, it just keeps revving, revving, and revving. It never stops, never tends to stop. It's just awesome. This is what a VTEC should feel like. This is a true VTEC machine. The reason why I got rid of the FK8 is because of this car. Every single day I'll pick this over the FK8. There's no doubt at all. Now, moving on to the next JDM, the Nissan R34 V Spec 2 Nerf. This car is such a complicated name. The V spec stands for Victory Spec. Two stands for the second version of the Victory Spec. NUR stands for Nurburgring. So this car is in base eye blue, which is my favorite color, and I believe this is one of the favorite color for the Alfred 4 because of Paul Walker. Anyway, so um, this car I bought it from Japan. Um, it was bone stock when I got it. But I got some Nismo goodies on it, for example, the intercooler, uh, the C2 front bumper, and some um, C2 side fender, stuff like that. So it looks way better. And it also has the Brembo GTS bricks, and with the uh, LM GT4 rims, it looks fantastic. So one of my favorite part of the car is the bonnet. It's made by carbon fiber with the Naka duck. You can basically see the carbon weave under the paint. So now moving on to the next car. The RX-7 Spirit R. This car right here basically sets the milestone of the rotary engine history. This car is finished in Mika Blue with the iconic pop up headlights. So, what makes the Spirit Out stand it apart from the regular RX7 from the previous limited edition model? So, the Spirit Out basically has all the goodies from the previous special editions and also has the BBS alloy wheels, drilled it motors, Bilstein suspensions, and the red Kevlar seats. This is the major difference that sets it apart. And for the Spirit Out Farron, there are three different types of Farron one is Type A, Type B, and Type C. This is a Type A, which has the recovery Kevlar seat and the five-speed manual. The fact that Mazda only built 1,500 of these are completely outrageous, and it's only available in the JDM market. Now let's wrap it up for the JDM. Let's go back to German. So this is the M2 competition. This is my daily drive right here. I've been dailying it for two months for now. I simply love it. It looks awesome and it's small. Because in Hong Kong, if you want to drive around, park in like every single parking lot, you have to have a small car. Big cars doesn't work in Hong Kong. It doesn't freaking work. You can drive a big car, but it's not a daily, man. You'll get in trouble once in a while in some of the parking lot. They're so damn small. They're so damn narrow. It's just obnoxious. The fact that this car has the six piston brick calipers, just simply insane. So the major difference between the regular M2 and the M2 competition is the engine. The competition has the S55 inline six twin turbo, which is directly migrated from the M4. And the regular M2 has the N55 engine, which is the inline six single turbo. So that is it for the M2. That is it for the garage walkthrough. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Please leave your comment below and let me know what kind of content I should cover in the future videos. Thanks guys. Bye.